We're back on this Tridy Friday with more of today, and it takes a lot of courage to pursue your passion. 21 year old so, uh, sociology major Kendall C. Smeyer did just that. But her passion wasn't in movies, sports, or music, it was to help others in need. When she was just 11 years old, Kendall started an organization called Kids Caring for Kids to raise money for kids in Sub Saharan Africa. Her work is honored in Glamour Magazine's annual Top 10 College Women Competition. Let's take a look at her story. My name is Kendall Seesmeyer, and I believe in using my voice to help others. When I was 11 years old, I saw an Oprah Winfrey Christmas special, where Oprah gave back to African children who had lost their parents to AIDS. That story changed my life. I imagined myself living in a mud hut, caring for my siblings, and grieving the death of my parents. After watching the show, I went online and found an orphan sponsorship program in Africa. I mailed them a check for $360 so that one little girl could eat and go to school. But I didn't want to help just one girl. I wanted to help thousands. I could relate to the orphans I saw on TV because I knew what it meant to feel helpless. I was born with a rare liver disease that I had never asked for, but it taught me to understand the human struggle. In 2004, I had two liver transplants. And instead of get well flowers and gifts, I asked friends and family to donate money to help other kids in Africa. In a few short months, we ended up raising $15,000. That led me to create my own organization, Kids Caring for Kids. We want to empower kids to help children in need, living in sub-Saharan Africa. Nine years later, we have mobilized over 10,000 young people to get involved, and we've raised almost a million dollars for schools, clinics, and housing. I want to spread the word that it doesn't matter what situation you're born with. If you're sick, healthy, pretty, or poor, anyone can make a difference in another person's life. That was awesome. So Cindy, Cindy Levy is the editor-in-chief of Glamour Magazine. And Kendall Seesmeyer is the grand prize winner of the Top 10 College Women Competition. Cindy, we can tell why you picked her. Yeah. Hello. You don't have to ask me that. Right? Kendall is just amazing. And this competition is designed to honor young women who really go above and beyond. You know, obviously she's got incredible grades. She's a great student, great on campus. But she's a leader, not just in her college, but in the world. She's making this place better for all of us. Kendall, one of the great things about you, you're Illness is part of you, but it's not all of you. It, it, it shapes you. It doesn't define you. It's not, it's not all of you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think always, you know, while I was growing up, you would never hear me talk about the fact that I had surgeries or I was growing up with a liver disease yeah. because I didn't want that to be how people knew me. I wanted to not be defined as Kendall the sick girl, right. but Kendall the girl who wanted to help other people. And, and that was such a powerful gift in my life to be able to, to kind of redefine myself and, and my purpose and to have that purpose while undergoing all of um, you know, the transplants. It's been the greatest blessing in my life, really. Wow. It, it, it's so true because you can't, you're not concentrating on yourself when you're so involved in the yeah. needs of other people. Right. And what Kendall has managed to accomplish is really extraordinary. I mean, you just heard those figures. It's almost a million dollars given by 10,000 children in this country to help children's causes in sub-Saharan Africa. And next month, due to her efforts, a school opens in Zambia that will send 100 children to high school. That's, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You gave the whole 360-some uh, bucks away right away when you were a little vision. What did yeah. you parents say when you said that's what you want to do with your money? <laughs> it was really funny because I had literally watched the Oprah special uh -huh. and you know, my, it was at night and my parents were crying in bed and, and I went upstairs and um, I googled AIDS orphans in Africa because yeah. what do you do when you right. don't know what to do? You Google it, <laughs> of course. And I um, you know, found World Vision, this orphan sponsorship program, and I literally reached into my dresser drawer and pulled out $360 of cash of saved up birthday and Christmas money wow. and like stuffed it in an envelope and addressed it everything to World Vision headquarters and, That's how you and went That's downstairs the yeah, and asked my parents for a stamp. They're like, what are you doing out of bed? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not telling you. And of course that doesn't work. Like, yeah. you know, so I had to tell them and then they were always like, oh, let's you know, split it, have Z's. I'm like, 
this is my thing, parents, <laughs> like, you Back should let do this. At all. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it ended up, you know, being my savings and things. Like, obviously, my parents have been an incredible support wow. and well, help. But, there, there's yeah. a young woman who you've looked up to, I think, for a while. Lisa Ling is somebody yes. who you looked up to. And she heard about your award, and she just wanted to, to say hi. I think we have Lisa on Skype joining us. We do. There she <laughs> is. Hi, hi Lisa. Lisa. Hi. She, isn't she something, Lisa, when you think about what she's done? I am so impressed by Kaylin all, all, all as their top college women. She's such an inspiration to me. She's an inspiration to her generation and her heart. Um, really just a, a testament to the kind of person she is. And, and I admire her. I congratulate her. And I'm so, uh, so proud of all that she has done done but so excited about all the things that she is going to do. That must feel good, Kendall, to hear that, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, your mom, your parents are here too in the yeah, studio? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're here. here. Just to, they? Hello, oh, you good. Hello, oh, proud parents. parents. Oh, you're just a great wow. girl. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank Thanks, you. Lisa, Thank for joining you. us. Thanks, Cindy.